have to say, totally unexpected, but very much appreciated. We're, we're here tonight to make sure we get a true conservative governor in West Virginia, a guy who's a tireless worker, and a guy who's always going to put West Virginia first. I'm so excited to be here tonight because what's forward for us here in West Virginia, it's an exciting time for all of us. We have so much to look forward to. We, across our state, as Julie mentioned, we can't take anything for granted. We've got to get out and make sure the vote's out. We've got to, yourself out there, family, friends, we've all got to be out there. We've all got to be out there voting. The other thing we need to do tonight that they mentioned was, let's donate tonight to Patrick Morrissey. Let's get the money rolling in because, again, we need him to have the money to go out in that war chest, to go out across the whole state of West Virginia and get this conservative message out for all. I do want to uh, recognize a few people tonight that played a major role in putting this together. I quietly watched as lots of people did work to make this happen. I want to give tremendous credit again to Julie Kaminsky. She has done so much. so much for our area. I've been to, as many of you have, her events before, and they're always top notch. They're always first class, and tonight is no different, right? I thank you for that. I also want to recognize a very special person. He's already been recognized tonight, but uh, this, this man has tirelessly worked to bring this together. This is the Super Bowl. And Rodney told me that he couldn't sleep last night making sure this thing went off right. He's a great friend of mine. He's built one of the largest and most successful car dealerships in West Virginia. He's a tremendous real estate developer for West Virginia. He's a true entrepreneur. He embodies what West Virginia is all about. He's a great friend of mine and a personal mentor to me for many years now. Rodney, we love you. We thank you so much for this. who's put tremendous hours and effort. He's been a longtime friend of Patrick Morrissey. He's known him for many years now. They have a personal friendship. And uh, he, he always relentlessly has carried Patrick Morrissey's uh, campaign. He's always advocated for Patrick Morrissey. He's uh, my lifelong business partner and my cousin. He's also a man who has lots of roles in his life. He's the mayor of Mount Hope. He's the father of six. He is the founder and owner of the Table Restaurant in Mount Hope. And by the way, if you haven't been to the Table, I'm telling you, you need to get there. It's unmatched food and unmatched atmosphere. He is, uh, means the world to me. He's my best friend, Michael Kessinger. So I've been blessed to call West Virginia home my entire life. And my wife, Emily, and I, we decided a long time ago that we wanted to stay here in West Virginia. And the reason for that is, to us, there's no greater place on earth. 34 years ago, and Kay Tina remembers this because she was around in those days, I married my childhood sweetheart, Emily, and it's still the best decision I've ever made by a long shot. <laughs> we decided to start our business and our family here. As many of you know, I've been a business owner for the last 25 years here in the area. I was blessed to have coached high school basketball for over 20 years. My son, Anthony, is a graduate of WVU, and his wife, Michaela, is a public school teacher here in Raleigh County. And we're just so thankful we've always been able to be here in West Virginia. One thing I'll say is, growing up here in southern West Virginia, I was always taught that values matter. And today, we're seeing that ring true more than ever. As we see the chaos, all the Democrat radical leftist agendas that are sweeping our country right now, you know what? All of us in this room have to do our part to keep that stuff out of West Virginia. Right now, we're in desperate need in our state government for strong leaders to understand and share our West Virginia values. We need leaders who not only uh, share that with us, but also recognize those values are worth defending. Because those values are what make West Virginia such a great place to live. Patrick Morrissey is a conservative fighter. 
He's going to be there, I guarantee you, as our governor every day, upholding and fighting and standing for us. We've seen him do it time and time again. He's going to fight for those West Virginia values. We need true conservatives in our government. We need, uh, we need candidates that are 100% pro-life and always fight for the sanctity of human life. When it comes to Second Amendment rights, we've got to fight hard to make sure we always maintain our right to bear arms. I'm so happy to say West Virginia is becoming more and more friendly from a business standpoint, but we need to continue to reduce our income taxes in the state. We've seen it in Texas. We've seen it in Tennessee, states that are realizing tremendous economic boosts because they put more money back into their citizens' pockets. They're letting people make decisions. And when we do that in West Virginia, we're going to see our economy boom like never before. Now, here's something that I never dreamed in a million years any of us would have to stand up here and say, but I'm going to tell you right now, we all have to fight and do our part also to keep boys and men out of girls' sports and out of girls' life. We need a governor who's going to support our education here in West Virginia because that's our future. That's the future of West Virginia. We need to support our public schools. As I mentioned, my daughter-in-law is a public school teacher, so I value that. But we also need to have school choice. So we need our charter schools. We need our private and parochial schools. And we need to support our parents and families that decide they want to homeschool. And we need to do that each and every day because you know what? Parents need to be making decisions about their children's education, not the government. I want to recognize Chris Hamilton, Jerry Bossy from the Cole Association. These guys do such a tremendous job many times behind the scenes fighting for West Virginia coal. That's our most valuable resource. Coal and the natural gas industry are what power West Virginia. We got another gentleman here who really understands natural gas and has made a huge impact on our entire state, Ike Morris. <laughs> Democrats running for office here in West Virginia, they, they support the radical Green New Deal. They support the war on coal, okay? We need a conservative fighter as our governor. And you know what? I don't have to just say it. We've seen the track record. When Patrick Morrissey has taken on the Obama administration, when he's taken on the Biden administration, when he's taken on the radicalized EPA, and he has won repeatedly for West Virginia call. I'm just so thankful again tonight to be able to get up here and speak. I'm excited about the future of West Virginia. You saw the elected officials around the room stand up. I can't believe that I get a chance to work with the powerhouse team that's in place. So many of the state senators here have already helped me. They've taken me under their wing. Uh, somebody, uh, I was talking to Senator Vince Deeds out, outside, and he said, what, you, know, you need to pick your seat. I said, I'll take the back row, and I just want to be a part of the team. But we have so many people here that have served so well for our area, and I'm looking forward to being a part of that. So to, to reiterate what Julie said, let's get out to vote. Let's not take anything for granted. Let's knock those doors. Let's get Southern West Virginia team rolling. Let's make sure when those results come out on Election Day that Southern West Virginia represented Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, and Patrick Morrissey in a big time way. Yeah. Now, uh, with that being said, I'm done talking now, uh, but, but I do appreciate your lesson. And I do want to uh, tell you, this is a great honor for me tonight. This, this means as much to me as anything. It's the next person that I get to introduce. And I never thought I'd get to introduce a man of this stature, but I get to introduce him tonight. But we have with us tonight a very special coach, Coach Bob Pruitt. He's going to be up here in a minute speaking to us. Uh, he was a caddy here at Black Knight. So he's a native of Beckler, West Virginia. He's one of us. He told me a few
few stories over the last couple of days. He's kept me in stitches, and uh, we've had some great conversations. But one thing he told me tonight about his cat experience, and he may not want me to tell this, but he said he went to Sylvia Elementary here in Beckley, and he would come over and caddy, and his older brothers were caddies here. Well, as initiation, they decided it'd be a good idea to take his pants off, and, and, and they put it on the public bus, and he said he had to chase the public bus down the street in his underwear <laughs> to get his pants back. Sorry, Coach, I had to tell this story. <laughs> but when I asked him yesterday uh, about his playing career, he told me that he played tailback. And I said, oh, that's great, so you ran the ball. He said, no, he said, I would get up to go into the game and the coach would look at me and tell me to get my tail back. <laughs> But I have to steal his jokes because I'm not a natural comedian, so I always remember jokes good because I appreciate him so much. But as I mentioned, Coach Pruitt is a native of Beckley, West Virginia. He was a star football player, star athlete at Woodrow Wilson. He attended Marshall University and had great success as both a running back and tight end. He was a free agent after graduation. He was a free agent with the Dallas Cowboys and played several years in professional football. Okay? His coaching career had a lot of stops along the way. He was a high school coach. He was on the staff at the following universities, Wake Forest, Ole Miss, Tulane, and Florida. And while at Florida, his, his first season there, his defense held the other team to an average of 87 yards a game, was first in the nation. His second year, the team went undefeated. How about that? <laughs> He's a winner because he's proven that to all of us through the years. In his nine seasons at Marshall University, he won 94 games and compiled an 80% winning percentage. He won six conference championships. He won five bowl games that his team played in. In 1996, he captured the Division I AA National Championship. Uh, he's coached many high-profile NFL players such as Randy Moss, Chad Pennington, and Byron Leverage, just to name a few. Meeting him has been the highlight of my week. And I'll leave you with one final thing he said when we were at lunch with Rodney and a group of us over at the table in Mount Oak. Uh, we were all laughing at his jokes throughout the day. So Rodney LaRose said, Coach, can you tell us one more joke before you're done speaking? And so in true form, he looked at Rodney and said, you're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you tonight for letting me play a small part in this. Julie, thank you very much. And welcome up our legend, West Virginia legend, Coach Bob Brooks. <laughs>